These are the vehicles that are ready to roll in case anyone gets stranded out there. They are stationed at the National Guard Armory in Owatonna, where an emergency shelter is also set up. Our Jonah Kaplan picks up our next weather team coverage from there. Hi there, Jonah. Amelia, you can really feel those winds. In fact, we were talking with someone in MnDOT earlier and they were saying, especially the trailers, the tractor trailers, they almost become like sailboats and that's the danger. But you also feel the urgency. The last time we had a kind of preparatory posture like this, if you will, emergency preparedness, it was back in 2019. And now this kind of activation, it's the fifth time in 15 years. Four wheel drive is minor league compared to this. The Minnesota National Guard's Small Unit Support Vehicle, or SUSV. It's how soldiers will reach stranded motorists. There isn't a whole lot that the machine isn't able to get through or climb over. The back cab can hold up to 10 people. In front, two soldiers and room for at least one other first responder. A rescue, though, will take time. The SUSV isn't known for speed. The average speed you're going to average around 15 to 20 miles an hour depending on road conditions. Now, once you get into the heavier drifts, you might be going 5 to 10 miles an hour. But they'll be safe and warm and taken to the armory where staff and volunteers are ready to help. Food, uh, sleeping uh, area, and then um, we also like to have games for children. Yeah, amazing teamwork, so many volunteers, but it's worth reiterating those SUSVs, yeah, not exactly Lightning Queen out there. <laughs> Only 15 to 20 miles per hour. It could take hours to get to you. That's why it's so important to have that emergency kit in the car. But really, if the safest way to, to be safe, just stay home. A million Frank. Good advice there, Jonah. Thank you.